Okay, now that we have our files on Matrix and we want to uh, have a terminal client to connect to Matrix and to be able to do our homework over there and uh, submit our files to our professor or anything that we want to do. For that, uh, open the browser again and in the browser search for PuTTY, P-U-T-T-Y, download, PuTTY download, P-U-T-T-Y. Click on download PuTTY. You can download PuTTY here, click over here and depending on what is your operating system select the proper one either 32-bit or 64-bit if you don't know which one it is open the uh, file explorer right click on this PC click on properties and you will see the version of your operating system over here see this is a 64-bit operating system and so now I know it's 64-bit I'm gonna click on 64-bit download and it's going to download PuTTY for me after the download is completed, click to open it. And when the wizard comes up, just click on next. Everything by default. You don't need to do anything. Just uh, keep going with installation and click on finish. And you're going to have PuTTY installed on your computer. Now, using PuTTY to connect to Matrix, open PuTTY, P U T T Y. And in the host name, type matrix. Seneca College. Ca, and uh, you can just save it so every time you don't have to do it. So let's call it matrix, and click on save. So this is always on matrix. If you just double click on matrix, it's going to open matrix. It's going to ask for your login, put your Seneca user ID, then it comes out like this. Type your password. When you type your password, it's not going to show up in here. So when you type it and you don't see anything comes up over there, don't think there's a mistake. It just doesn't show. So I'm going to type my password now. And now I'm logged in. So we already uploaded something in a directory called demo. So I'm going to change directory to demo. And I'm going to clear the screen. And in here we see that we have a file called prg.c. So I want to compile that file and name the program uh, PRG. So I'm going to uh, write over here CC for C compiler, my, uh, actually, uh, dash wall. That means display all the warnings. And then I'm going to say uh, my underline prog.c. That means compile uh, my, uh, uh, my prog.c and dash o the name of the executable, I'm going to call it uh, PRG. Okay, so when I hit enter, if there is no message, it means everything went perfect. If you look at the directory, you'll see that PRG is created. If I just uh, type PRG, you will see that the program runs and says the program, the demo program is working. Oh, <laughs> I have a spell with the work thing, but anyways, it's working. Now, if you just type cc without wall and dash o prog my prog dot c if you just hit it like this and hit enter it still compiles it but the compiler becomes very forgiving dash wall means if there are likely mistakes point them point them to me and all the assignments that you're submitting are going to get compiled that way so you better get used to it and always use this switch and if you don't write what is the name of the executable, then by default, the name of the executable, executable will be a.out. So if I ls now, you'll see that I have a file called a.out. a.out run exactly like PRG because it's compiled version of whatever the program was, and, and it's just two different names. So if I type a.out, it says my demo program is working, and that's how things are done.